hi welcome to another episode in this video we are going to deal with rip ng rip next generations all right in our last video we dealt with configuring a rip on ipv4 and here we look at how to do a rip configuration in ipv6 okay i know i have not treated ipv6 in detail but we're going to look at it in our subsequent videos note that we have hq router here and br router as branch router each of them has a LAN connected with one PC. So here, our target is to make sure that PC1 will communicate with PC2 via this router that will use a RIP for IPv6 or a RIP NG. Okay, basic configurations have been done on PC1 as well as uh, HQ router. The command so IPv6 will show you the IPv6 parameters configurations on this PC. So here we have the global scope or the global unicast address that is configured on this species interface. That's 2001 DB8 ACAD colon 2, which is a subnet there, and colon colon 5 slash 64. Okay, so going to HQ router, we should see also the basic IP configuration that are actually done on that router. On a key router we can issue the command so run interface gigabit one slash zero so that is the LAN interface connecting to the branch router and there you can see the interface is configured with an IPv6 address global 2001 colon dv8 acad colon one colon colon one as the first address on the subnet slash 126 that is the point to point to br1 okay likewise on the interface Going towards the LAN of HQ1, we can see the IP parameters with that command. So run interface fa0 slash 0, and we can see the address 2001 db8 ACAD2 colon 1 slash 64. Alright, so now ping command from PC1 to the HQ on this interface fa0 slash 1 as well as the G1 slash 0 should work. Okay, so let's test that from PC1. We can ping uh, the IP address of its gateway, which is 2001db8acad2 colon 1. So I copy this command, that address, and I just change the address from 5 to 1. Don't match the gateway address. So here you can see reply is going through. Okay, so we can see if you want to see only one packet. From the ping and we can see that so if you want to see let's say 10 packet you can use the dash c followed by the number of packets that you want so um also ping towards the g1 slash zero from the pc to the hq router should also work that's 2001 db8 acad colon one colon colon one okay Note that that is the IP address configured on this G1 slash 0 of HQ from this one subnet. So that should also work. So, but ping from the PC to G1 slash 0 of BR1 would not work. So, note that um, IP configuration on BR1 has not been done yet. So, I will walk you through that as well as the IPv6 configuration on PC2. And after we complete that and test basic connectivity, then we do the RIP ng configurations together so let's move to br1 in br1 we can go to global configuration mode and configure ip on the one interface that is g1 slash 0 with the command ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 1 colon 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 2 since br1 g0 slash g1 slash 0 will have the dot 2 from the 1 colon colon slash 126 subnets so we flow with us with a prefix length that's slash 126 and we say no shutdown to enable the interface okay we also configured the ip address on fa0 slash 0 that's the one that's the land link from br1 okay and that is IPv6 address 2001 colon db8 
colon ACAD colon 3 colon colon 1 slash 64. So here is a slash 64 prefix length and we enable the interface with the no shutdown command. So let's also go to PC2 and give it an IP v6 address. So PC1 so IPv6 is showing us that it's only having a link local address. Let's assign PC2 IPv6 address with the command IP2001 colon DV8 colon ACAD colon the subnet here is 3 colon colon 5 slash 64 and the gateway is 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 3 colon colon 1 that's the ip address on f is 0 slash 0 of br1 so now if you display the ipv6 address of the pc we can see the address is there so what is supposed to be slash 64 and not slash 65 so we can recall that command and say slash 60 64 so that's to override that okay so now we should be able to ping our gateway ping the, our gateway should be what 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 3 colon colon 1 okay so we have a reply there so we should also similarly be able to ping the IP address of G1 slash 0 from PC2. Okay. So I've just recalled that command and said um, 1 colon colon 2. So here 1 colon colon 2. Okay. So that one is saying um, host not reachable. So something is wrong. So let's see what is the issue. Okay, we go to BR1. So run interface G1 slash 0. This is, is configured with that address 2001 colon db8 ACAD colon 1 colon colon 2. And that is the correct address in the correct subnets. Okay, so let's see the gateway of PC2 that is the interface f is 0 slash 0 of BR1 that one also is configured with the correct address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 3 colon colon 1 slash 64 so what is the possible issue so the problem is IPv6 engine is not turned on so by default the IPv6 engine is turned off so if you want to run or enable IPv6 you need to turn on that engines so to enable that engines we go to global configuration mode and say ipv6 unicast routing so this will turn on the ipv6 engine in this router so let's go to back to pc2 and see if our ping to g1 slash 0 of br1 will work okay so now ping from pc2 to g1 slash 0 of hq or towards the other pc in hq lan should fail because routing is not in place so ping from pc2 to pc1 is expected to fail ping the ip address of pc1 that is 2001 db8 acad 2 colon colon 5 So I will just recall that command and I say change this to uh, the address of PC1 that is 2 colon colon 5. So that is saying it's saying no router the destination network. So if you go to BR1, we can verify that BR1 has no idea about this 2001 db8 ACAD colon 2 network. Okay. And so IPv6 route will give us the routing table for that. Okay, so in this routing table, we can see that we only have 
to C routes. Those are the LAN networks. That's ACAD1, which is the one network slash 26. Okay, and then the um, 73 slash 64. So now we are going to enable rip ng to make sure that um, HQ and BR1 land each other's remote networks. So to start configuration on BR1, we go to global configuration mode and in the interface G1 slash 0 and we enable the IPv6 ng routing instance. So we say IPv6 RIP, we give it a name. The name of the routing instance will be a net last lab and we say enable. That's it. So we go to the other interface on BR1, that is the interface going to the LAN network, interface FA0 slash 0, and interface FA0 slash 0, IPv6, RIP, net lab. Okay, so note that you can also enable this routing instance in global configuration mode and common enable on the interface so but here we but instead we just enable the RIP in NG instance on the interface and automatically it's going to enable on global configuration mode so that's all the RIP NG configuration on BR1 and we will move to the HQ router and do the NG configuration RIP NG configuration as well so we can end here and save our configurations I'll go to HQ router, go to global configuration mode, and here if you want, we can enable the read ng routing instant force and then enable your own interface by using the command IPv6 router RIP and we give it the routing instance that is the the string that will identify the routing process. So this would be net dash lab. And we press enter so that will enable the routing instance. So we go to the interface now g1 slash 0, that's the one interface, and we say IPv6 RIP, and we bring the name that's the net that's lab enable. We go to the LAN interface, IPv6, RIP, net dash lab, enable. So that's also all for the read ng configuration and HQ router. So now um, we should also see some RIP route being learned from the HQ router. So IPv6. Now we can see the IPv6 RIP routes that are LAN, and here we can see the AD is 120. So likewise, if you go to BR1, we should also see some uh, RIP routes that have been LAN. So IPv6 routes, and now we can see a RIP route is LAN, that is the LAN network of a cube. So now, Let's go back and test that the ping that was failing from PC2 to PC1 is now succeeding. So here I know that it says that there was no route to the destination. But if you recall the same ping command and we should see a reply is going through. The ping is now successful. We can also trace. Okay, so in tracing, you can see the first hop was through our gateway from PC2, that's 3.1, as this on this first, then 0 slash 1, and next was the ACAD1 colon colon 1, plus the IP address on G1 slash 1 of HQ, and finally to the PC1's address, that's 2, 
ACAD colon 2 colon colon 5. That's all for read ND configurations on a basic level. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to see more of our advanced videos on RIP and other videos. So thanks for watching and see you next time.